I just watched Fedor Emelianenko beat a guy by the name of Jaideep Singh. And uh, I watched the fight and, um, you know, when I first heard that Fedor was going to fight, it was like a different opponent. But then I saw this opponent. I didn't even really look too much into even who this guy was. I've seen he had a, a few fights. Um, I guess I guess he was a kickboxer. I don't even really know a lot about the guy. But I, I was... Even when this wasn't Fedor's opponent, I really wasn't interested in it. In fact, I um, originally was a different opponent. You know, I, I just, in a way, I was almost kind of hoping Fedor would lose. I'm a huge Fedor fan, but when you take somebody that, it's almost kind of like being a bully. Wouldn't you say, like... You know, you take somebody that's at a greater skill level and put them in there with somebody that's, you know, basically a can or even if we won't say can, it's somebody that's expected to lose. That's who they're finding for Fedor, somebody who's expected to lose. You almost kind of like, you know, you almost kind of want to root for the guy that's expected to lose. <laughs> you know, the problem is... uh Fedor's skill level is so much greater than these guys that the chances of, the, of them winning, it's almost, it's, it's basically impossible. I mean, there's no way. It's like if I had to fight Fedor. It doesn't matter if I throw a haymaker, whatever I do, I'm going to lose. I mean, it's, it's just, it's just nothing that you can do. I mean, and that's kind of what's going on here. And anyway, of course, Fedor beats the guy, um... You know, pretty easily. I mean, look, the guy is is an actual fighter, um, and I mean, don't make no mistake about it. I mean, just because people are not in the UFC does not mean that they're not maybe at the same level. In fact, in history, uh, we've looked at people say, "Oh, the best fighters in the UFC," but there was definitely times when that was not true. Even in strike force, the, the heavyweights in strike force were better than the. the heavyweights in the UFC. I mean, Verdum is now a champion in uh, in the UFC. I mean, the list goes on and on. Guys that were, uh, okay, you've got basically all the champs in the UFC currently right now used to fight in strike force. They all he weren't all heavyweights, but you've got, uh, you know, Fabricio Verdum, he was fighting in strike force. You've got Daniel Cormier, he's a 205 champ. He was fighting in strike force. You got Robbie Lawler. You know, he was fighting in strike force. I mean, so, and not only are they fighting in the UFC, they're the champions. So I'm not saying that Jaideep Singh and Fedor, I'm talking more about Fedor. Could Fedor compete in the UFC? You know, people have been talking about this forever. Could he come in now at his age? Oh, that's another thing. Fedor looked noticeably older. He has gray hair now. Uh, but, he looked very physically fit, and this is, was the kind of the one thing, and I had mentioned in a video uh, when I had seen him doing a seminar after he retired, I said, you know what, Fedor looks really good, he looks very fit, and I, I suspect he was injured, you know, during, like when he fought, um, you know, Dan Henderson, and he just didn't look good, he looked deflated, his shoulders were pretty much melted away, he just really didn't look good, he looked old. Uh, he looked very muscular and physically strong. He had him at 236. The weight doesn't mean much, though, because you carry 230, 230 of fat or 230 muscle. Um, but he looked big. He looked big. This guy that he fought was, was big, 6'5", and it looked like Fedor fought very smart. He threw some big punches, and uh, I'm not even sure if he landed with him. I, I just watched the fight once, and then he clinched. And you guys will all go watch the fight. But uh, it looked like he fought smart. And, uh, you know, similar to how he fought... Uh, uh, he fought some real tall... Uh, oh, Semi Schlitt or whatever the guy's name was. I forget I forget the guy, how to pronounce the guy's name. Uh, looked very similar to when he fought that guy. And um, But anyway, you know, Fatal looked good. I'd like to see him come to the UFC. I mean, you got... The UFC is bigger now. You got guys like Conor McGregor making tons of money. Of course, they're winning and winning, but I don't see why they can't just pay Fedor whatever he's going to make. Because we can't really criticize Fedor because Fedor 
is making way more money to take this fight, and it's an easy fight. But I really think it comes down to money. I think if the UFC offered him a lot of money, he would come. I mean, you don't think Fedor... You think Fedor's scared of Fabricio Verdum? I mean, if they offered Fedor a bunch of money to come and fight Fabricio Verdum for the title, I'm pretty sure he'd be stoked on it because he could beat Verdum. He could beat Verdum, especially with this drug testing and everything that's going on. He could beat Kane. I mean, we've seen Kane get beat down by uh, Fabricio Verdum. You don't think Fedor could beat him down? I mean, uh, you know, I'd like to see him. He looked good. He looked muscular. He looked strong. And it's good to see that. It's not good to see him fighting these opponents. It's pretty lame, but it is what it is. And maybe something will come of it. Maybe he will come. You know, I just want one fight. Pay the guy a ton of money. Pay him, like, pay him up mil millions of dollars and and put the fight on. Have him come fight for the title. I mean, it'd be, it'd be Conor McGregor. It'd be like, it would. The sales would just be off the chain. Would be off the chain. Fedor first for Abrisio Verdum for the title. And guys, I think Fedor will win. I really do. I mean, I, I, I suspect he may even be a favorite. I'm, and I'm not joking. It's like, anyway, guys, I'll see you guys later.